Hello everyone. I just wanted to um, share an energy update um, of what I've been channeling and uh, just about the energies we're in. And I also wanted to start off by sharing an experience that happened to me um, over the weekend and on Monday. Um, because I feel like it will help you understand just you know how thin the veil is and i don't normally share a lot of my kind of out of worldly and cosmic experiences which maybe i i should share more of that but um i just feel like it will help you understand just like how th thin the veil is right now and how we have the ability to have these experiences um and it also ties in a lot to the messages that are coming through uh to be shared today so um I'll just kind of start off by, you know, I feel like, you know, what has been happening to me is that last weekend, um, last week, weekend, I was like moving through a lot of really deep fears. I had a lot of fears that didn't really make a lot of sense. Um, just a lot of things that were coming up for me. And uh, it felt like a death was on the horizon. It felt like, you know, something. I was having really weird signs around it. It was really bizarre. Um, and so I was in a lot of fear. Okay. And so, uh, of just other things, there's just many things that just really weren't mine. It didn't really make a lot of sense. And so I kept kind of getting the, um, I kept seeing like synchronicities around like ancestral, like it, this could be ancestral and like family line related, but it just like, I, I don't know, it just, just kind of brushed it off. But, um, then it kind of made sense of like what side and like who was trying to communicate with me. Um, that's that's an eagle singing if you can hear that um anyways so i we had wild experiences going on in our household so we had electronics turning on and off constantly on and off um we in the middle of the night over the weekend we had our alarms beeping which it wasn't like a fire alarm but it was kind of like that noise that when like a battery's dying and we don't have battery, like they're not battery fire, fire alarms. So it didn't make any sense. Um, they're like really built in. And so this kept going off and I knew what it was. Like I, I knew that it was, I knew who it was. Um, and it was a frequency shift. So essentially a lot of times when there's a lot of energy and I'm about like, there's an up level happening or frequency shifting, stuff like that kind of happens in my household. And not only that, it was coming through as ancestral. Um, like they're trying to get my attention because I kept hearing fire alarms. I kept seeing 9-11, just all these weird synchronicities, um, that were happening to me. And so I'll just kind of start off this, this part of the story that, um, I was a few months ago, I was, you know, talking to a family member and they were sharing with me, like we had a, we had a family member who had passed away a few years ago. And I guess someone who was close to that family member had a dream that they, uh, the, the, the Passover loved one was going, said they would leave salt outside their door and that's how they know that they were there. And so within the dream, the person saw salt in their door in outside their door. Anyways, it was a whole thing. I just want you to remember this story. And so I just was like, wow, that's such a wild, cool dream. And, um, anyways, so on Monday, I felt like I needed to really connect to the, my ancestors and my family line. It felt like I really needed to connect with them and I don't normally do that, but it was like my star ancestors and my, my generate, like, you know, like my family line. And so I went to the beach, I went to the beach and I sat in a normal spot where I, uh, I sat in a spot where I don't normally sit. I was just kind of like, guide me to where I need to go for this. And so I was guided to a, a certain spot and I had my back up against a log and I was sitting there and just connected and, and my star ancestors, ancestors came in, my family line, and I was getting all these messages that were coming through, um, which I feel like I'm going to share um, some of them with you. There's a little wasp. <laughs> I'll share one of them with you because it, it really ties into what I was picking up ancestrally. Uh, sorry, was what I was picking up intuitively that a lot of people are moving through right now. And so I was sitting there and they're sharing with me all these messages. Like I had this whole experience. They were doing a huge clearing on me and they're just telling me how deeply protected I am. 
which is really important for me uh, to feel protected and um, that they're just kind of like watching over me. And anyways, it was a whole experience and I'll share the message for the collective after, but um, I went up to go to the bathroom and then when I came back, I was walking through the grass and I looked to the, on the ground and there was a salt shaker with a huge pile of salt just on the ground right there, right then and there. And it was funny because when I was in the whole experience, I kind of remembered that story and then boom, the salt was right there. It was wild. And then I went back and I was just like blown away and I went back and I sat at the spot and I heard, and I was just like intuitively t like almost like a force was guiding me to turn around and I heard a gift from your ancestors and I looked and on top of the log there was a piece of jade uh like a crystal sitting there um and there there was a gift for me and I jade is associated with protection good luck fortune and like abundance and calming um and like heart healing healing um and so it was just like a really powerful experience that I, I really wanted to share with you because during it like all these car alarms were going off it was just wild it was um a pretty pretty cool experience but this really um brings me into like the energy update of like we are at a karmic reset okay so we are at an end of one cycle and the beginning of a new cycle okay the work that you have done on yourself to heal your ancestral line to heal your family line and not only like the deep healing journey that you have been on is now complete and it's not it's now time to step into your soul's next your higher purpose your soul's next evolution your higher mission here on earth so this is really the beginning of a cycle of expansion a wave that is coming and they keep sharing with me about this wave that's coming and we're almost like preparing ourselves for this big momentum this big expansion this new experience and i've been seeing a lot of waves in my dreams it's wild but essentially like you have you have graduated from one cycle and you're ready for the next evolution. You've graduated, okay? You've graduated to the next level. Um, so just as Earth herself is shifting, she's moving into more celestial body. She is ascending, okay? I've been getting this message a lot that an old consciousness has been released and a new consciousness is stepping forward. This is happening on the earth and it's also happening within ourselves, okay? So we are also moving into a more celestial body, okay? More soul in body, more light in body, okay? This is part of the ascension, right? This is what's happening. We are in body, but higher frequency. We're not here to float off, off, off out into the ethers, right? We're here to be on earth. So we have, with that, we have the ability <clears throat> to access new cosmic information, higher light. Um, and this information is now coming online. It's now available. So you may feel like you've been at a bit of a zero point, a void, the space between. This is really a recalibration to this new energy, this new frequency. And with this, you know, with the... Um, Eclipse, uh, sorry, not the eclipse, the solstice that's happening, we're experiencing a lot of high frequency light that's coming through, through our solar energy, through our solar sun, right? Um, and this is, you know, we are, our bodies are adapting, okay? Our bodies need to go through this recalibration, just as earth is as well. Um, so be easy with your body. So this is really a turning point, a new beginning, the fog, the illusions, the veil, the fears are all being revealed. What is no longer in alignment is being revealed and the energy is kind of like lifting, okay? So soon the next steps will be revealed, but we are really quantum leaping into a new cycle. So let go, what you really need to understand is like, whatever you're gripping onto, you really need to let go because there's something bigger that wants to come through. And once you do that, it's like a quantum leap, okay? So um, really needing to let go of your concept of time and how long you think, your limited mind thinks that things can happen for you. You really need to let that go right now because timelines are collapsing. Time is collapsing all into the now, okay? And time doesn't exist as we know. <laughs> but really it's, it's time to move out of your comfort zone. It's time to move out of the known and familiar and into the unknown okay into the next level because nothing is impossible right now 
It's time to move beyond who you are and what you have done into this next evolution, even if it feels unknown. Okay, you have the power to create your reality. So um, an energetic shift has taken place, an energetic leap that is preparing you for what is to come, okay? So the energies are a lot lighter, but a very high frequency, okay? So there's a lot of many shifts that are in store. There's a lot of changes that are in store and you need to prepare yourself right now. It's your soul's next evolution, okay? You are time coded to evolve right now. You're time co coded to transform and expand. So shake off the old energy, shake off this density. No longer live in it. You don't need to live in this anymore. Shake it off, do something different. Shake up your energy, okay? and be open to receiving this higher cosmic light, this new consciousness that is coming in. It's already happening for you. You don't need to overthink it. Anyways, I hope you all have a great weekend and happy solstice. I love the solstice. It's one of my favorite times of the year. Um, and we'll speak soon.